which is actually 6, 10, and 14. I'm trying to ignore the 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. And I observe this plus 4. Well, I need to figure out what number would be in this spot if there was a previous number. Because I'm thinking about this equation, an equals 4n, and if I put a 1 in here, it would be 4 times 1 is 4, but really, how do I get to a 6? 4 plus what would give me 6? a2 equals 4 times 2, which is 8, plus what would give you 10? a3 is 4 times 3, which is 12, plus what gives you 14? Every time, if I'm doing 4n, I need to actually add 2 to get to the real number of chairs, so in the next set. So if you were to go backwards and you were to write a zero term, it would be 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. So the rule is 4n plus 2. So every time you add a table in, four times the number of tables plus two. Does that even make sense? So every table, here's four, eight, twelve. And here's four and eight. So each one of these sets is four, 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 a multiple of four, but there's two on the end. So it's a multiple of 4 plus 2, multiple of 4 plus 2, multiple of 4 plus 2. You get visual. 
This is uh, 42 people, so I'm going to go to the other meeting. 42 people attend an event, and how many tables are needed to do the performance and the consideration of each zone? So we're thinking um, we don't know exactly, but we want 42 chairs. So how many tables we give us? 42 chairs. So this number should be what it's equal to. So we'll do 42 equals 4n plus 2. One thing about these sequences is that, um, like, you, n is never zero, n is never an infinite number. And that kind of makes sense here because the order will have a problem. Like, you have to do that order and see nothing in complex like that. Starting at one table and then so no more tables. Anybody have a question about this one? Okay. Today, And it only works in couple of unusual patterns, so let's do it. But um, if you were in class during and you talked about mapping the design, this section, every single pattern goes up by adding or subtracting. Every single one's a linear pattern. That's called arithmetic. It's the same spelling as arithmetic. But arithmetic is a noun. And when you say arithmetic, it's a number. So it's describing a sequence. Sequence that goes up by addition or subtraction. Arithmetic, arithmetic. So here's the formula. So if you were having a hard time coming up with this 4n plus 2, the formula will do it for you. So this is the formula for writing rules, which are equations. You do a n equals a little 1. So whatever the first term is in the sequence, you put it in here. You've got a plus sign parentheses, n minus 1, this is the number you're asked to find. So if you're asked to find like the 30th term, you would put 30 in here. There's always a minus 1, and then you put the common difference here. So like this was plus 4 plus 4, I would put a 4 in for D. The formula makes the work much easier. So this is really the only example we're going to be using. I don't know that I This section will be done in two parts. This is part one. It's not the same. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, well, let me do this though. Okay, so it says write as a long as a sequence, then find A for D. So we want you to find the four leaf turn. So it's going to be from the pattern. I'm going to go in the calculator, mark it right there in the chat. And then once you participate, we'll just add 40 times to get to the number. Um, so sometimes I make it like find the one time each turn. So that's what you should do. Anyway, make sure you get the pattern. Down um, 13, going down 13, down 13. So I'm going to say the D value in here is 13, your D turn. And um, A1, the first number in the list is 55. So I'm going to put 55 in here, negative 13 in the D value, and then we write it. So A1 is 55 plus N minus 1 times negative 13. This is it summified. You're going to distribute to the left and then combine my terms and my equations and get an equation. And if you come up with the equation and you don't want it to, you can find another equation. So negative 13 times n will be plus a negative 13n plus 13. And then I can always come back after I distribute left, which is a little unusual. I'll always be able to combine the first term and this number that shows up here. So an is negative 13n plus 68. That's the rule. And that 68 makes sense to me because if I was to go backwards, I know I'm subtracting every time. If there was a 68 right here, 68 minus 13 would give us 55. So by plugging in the first term and the common difference, It'll write the equation for you, so you don't have to think so hard about it. Okay? It's not done yet. It says find A sub 40. So now I'm going to use the equation. I'm going to write A 40, and I'm going to plug 40 in for N. And that's going to tell me the 40th term. Fifty-two. 
So that's the 40th term will be negative 520 plus 68. So the 40th term will be negative 452. Okay. So for, um, it's page 838, 29 to 38. For all of those, we, we want to subtract the same formula. We can also do the equation of the suggestion case. And then we have to find some number term. Thank you. 